Welcome, welcome everyone to your Heavenly Fresh Moment where we strive to make God's word your truth. This is your mouthpiece from heaven, Jennifer Simmons, and I am coming to you today with a message, hallelujah, Jesus, a message straight from the throne room. This Today's message is titled, Scam Likely, Scam Likely, and we are going to come from 1 Peter 5 and 8. I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified Version, and it reads, Be sober. Well balanced and self disciplined. Be alert and cautious at all times. That enemy of yours, that enemy of mine, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, fiercely hungry, seeking someone to devour. Okay, so I titled today's message Scam Likely because there is a, uh, a particular feature on my phone. It's on all Androids where um, if someone from, you know, if, if there's a, a number calling in from some scam artist, the number, the phone can immediately detect that it's a fraudster. And so it'll actually just come up on your caller ID as scam likely. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I wanted to come from this perspective because I believe that right now there may be some traps that the enemy is trying to set. There may be some... Um, some opposition that is coming your way and it's coming not by uh, um, a way that is obvious to you but it's coming hallelujah as an undercover friend it's coming as an undercover opportunity it's coming as an undercover um, uh, meeting or invitation hallelujah as an undercover benefit so I just want you to be aware of of these devices that the Bible tells us to not be ignorant of the enemy's devices, but that we must stay awake and we must be sober minded. Hallelujah. Jesus sober minded just means to be without, um, it said the Bible said without access. Hallelujah. But it says to be well balanced. It says to be, um, in the amplified version, well balanced and self discipline. Anytime you're self disciplined, that means that you can have a little bit of something without going, uh, without uh overdoing it you can you can have a little bit of something without uh overindulging in it so you all know that too much of anything is a bad thing hallelujah jesus any and i, I had to think about this and i wanted to really just kind of to zoom in on being sober minded because sometimes we can meet people sometimes we can um we can have a a a a a plan, an initiative, how a venture before us that will consume us, that will take up so much of our time, that will take up so much of our attention, that will take up so much of our concentration that we don't have time for the Lord, that we don't have time, hallelujah, Jesus, to be t attentive to the things of the spirit, to, to, to be aware and cognizant of what's going on in the spiritual realm, what's going on, hallelujah, even in the airways. It's important in this time especially that we stay um, aware and awaken to what's happening. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just like the Frosters, what they do is they, they, um, they play on those things that they know will get your attention quickly. You know, they, they come with, um, with a, a, a plan to say, oh, your account is being, um, your account has been hacked or your account you know, has been um, tampered with and, and I'm here to help you. I need your account information so that I can get it immediately. That's what the devil is doing. He's sending people who are coming to meet immediate needs. He's sending people who are giving off the appearance to have what we want, but the whole plan of them is to take what we have. We have to be aware. We have to be watchful. We have to be discerning in this hour because the enemy is not going to play fair. The enemy has been very patient with us. The enemy has, has watched us. He is very familiar with what, what uh, uh, meets our fleshly desires. He's very familiar with the things that we feed our flesh. Hallelujah, Jesus. And he, is, he has been patient to wait for just the right time to plan his attack. We have to remember, hallelujah, if, uh, um, Jesus, Ephesians 6 and 12. The Bible tells us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This warfare that we are in is not against one another, but it is a spiritual fight. It is a spiritual battle that we are engaging in. We are fighting against principalities. We are in a fight against uh, um, 
uh, powers, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness. This fight that we're in cannot be fought with carnal weapons, but it has to be fought with weapons that God will, will bless and will make mighty so that we can be victorious in this fight. Our victory comes through our prayer life. Jesus told Peter and his disciples, hallelujah, he told the three disciples, and let me explain that to you. There were 12 disciples, but Jesus, out of the 12, had handpicked three to, to, to be close to him, to, 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 um, he picked them as his chosen. Hallelujah, Jesus. You have been handpicked by Jesus as a chosen vessel. You have been handpicked by Jesus to, 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 um, to watch him closely, to have, hallelujah, um, a front row seat to his miracles, to have a front row seat, not only to the miracles, because everybody had access to view the miracles, but you had a front row seat to see Jesus in full operation in the spirit. So he went to them. He said, I'm going up to the mountain. He's gone up to a high place and he has, he has now given us instructions to be watchful and to pray. Some of us are sleeping during our prayer time. Some of us would rather nap and rather walk around in spiritual blindness than to be aware of what's happening in the spirit. Some of us don't want to know what's going on in the spirit because we're afraid. We don't want to know what's going on in the spirit because we think it's going to require more of us than is, um, than we're willing to put out. But I'm telling you, it is what without it is without um uh, uh uh um it is it is it would behoove you to go and and be uh, effective during this hour in prayer it would it would be in your best interest hallelujah jesus to seek the lord in everything that you do in the name of jesus let me just go through my notes hallelujah jesus Hallelujah, Jesus. I really, I just wanted to break down. My notes just breaks down the, um, the scripture of first Peter five and eight. It breaks it down. He says to be sober. We already talked about being sober is, is being without indulgence is being without, um, um, more than what's required. Hallelujah, Jesus. I had to think about, um, certain relationships that I was, that I've been in where, um, I can be so intoxicated with an individual, so intoxicated with an individual that I will, I'm sorry, y'all, something going on around here. Why is she over here? Okay. I just saw Chase G teacher but that's okay we can be so intoxicated with individuals that it pulls us away from spending time with god hallelujah jesus so just be careful the enemy knows that we desire to be in relationships the enemy knows that we desire to have friends the enemy knows that we desire to be married so we can't allow him to play on our heartstrings hallelujah jesus the enemy knows that we desire to be a, of help to people and so he will send people to that 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 assignment is to drain us is to spiritually warp us of our strength and we have to be careful of that you have to be careful of those spiritual leeches next he says to be aware to be i mean to be alert so to be alert means to be aware we have to to be uh um fully uh um uh, cognizant is the only word I can think of of what's happening around us there are people who are with are in within close proximity to us who have been sent by the enemy to present opportunities to us that will lead us down paths of destruction that will hinder our walk in Christ that will hinder our our ability to reach our expected end so we just have to be aware of that we have to see what's coming before it comes hallelujah Jesus he says to be cautious to be cautious means to be prudent. It means to be wise. It means to be discerning. It means to be able even to warn others against any harm that could be coming their way. And it says that we have to do this at all times. How can we be uh, cautious? How can we be alert? How can we be sober and, and, and well-minded at all times if other things are taking our attention? If there are other things that have our concentration, how can we, how will you be able to discern the, the wiles of the enemy at all times? We can through the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is your helper. The Holy Ghost is there to help you detect. The Holy Ghost is that mechanism that's in your phone that can detect immediately when there is a phony, a fraud, or a fake on the other line. 
That is the job of the Holy Spirit. We have to be keen and, and be able to tap into that power that's working on the inside of us, that power that is there to, to, to uh, uh, awaken us to what's happening so that we know to go in the opposite direction, so that we know to decline. When that call comes in, I do not hesitate to hit that decline button. So I'm here to tell you today that there are some people in your life that you need to decline. The Bible tells us that we are to try of the Spirit by the spirit test the spirit by the spirit to know if that spirit is of god it's okay to decline some invitations if it comes back because that call comes in every day it call, it comes in a, a, a number of times throughout the day and each time it comes i have to hit decline i have to hit decline i have to hit decline sometimes some things some people some places some invitations some meetings you are going to have to hit decline and have to hit decline and have to hit decline to know whether it is of god because anything that God has for you is just for you. No one can take it. No one can imitate it. No one can duplicate it. Hallelujah. No one can steal it. No one can, uh, 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 can, uh, uh, um, remove it from you. Glory be to God. Your gifts and your call is without repentance. So anything that God has planned for you, anything that God has in store for you, you shall receive no matter how many times you decline it. But, but, um, and, and it's, you know, it's, it's so funny how you can say one thing, but then something else will come up because sometimes we can not be aware of what's spiritual and decline something that God has given us and then he'll end up giving it to somebody else. That Those are two different things. That That's something that you are to walk in, something that you have been called to. Sometimes you have to take a risk, but you have to consult the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something. Anything that you uh, enter into that is not of God and, it, it, and it's revealed to you that it was not of God, you knew it was was not of God before it was revealed to you. The Holy Spirit, you was grieving some in some way, form, or fashion before you accepted whatever it was that you entered into. So I can't even say that. I'm not even going to say that you won't. You know. You know when it's not of God. Some things you might be like, is that you, Lord? But that's when you got to pray. That's when you have to be self-disciplined. That's when you may have to turn your, ta your plate down and, and fast and understand that God is speaking and we need to hear him clearly. So that's it. That's your message. Oh, no. Let me tell you. So, well, that's pretty much it. You know, I was going to talk about how the devil, you know, it says that he's fiercely hungry. You know, he seeks to devour us. To devour means to consume uh, 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 um, uh, destructively. Hallelujah, Jesus. It means to, to consume maliciously. The devil wants to steal, kill, and destroy. He doesn't care how he does it. He doesn't care who he uses. He doesn't care what 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 um what avenue he has to take to do it. He has been patient and he has been waiting. He has been waiting for the right time. He's been waiting for that time where he knows we're most vulnerable. He's been waiting for that time where he knows, hallelujah, Jesus, that we may have succumbed to a spirit of, of loneliness or a spirit of depression he is waiting for that right time when we have opened that door and as soon as that door is open we've given him a foothold into our life which has allowed him to enter in and he's not coming alone if he enter in trust me he's coming with his nasty demons and his disgusting imps right behind him so i just declare and decree today for spiritual awakeness i declare and decree today that your eyes will be open to the spiritual realm that your eyes will be open and your heart will be discerning Hallelujah, Jesus, and your mind will be keen and your vision will be fine-tuned to exactly what's happening to you in the spirit, to the people that are around you, to the opportunities that are presented to you, to the contracts, the meetings, to the invitations. You know, as, as people of God, we are so eager to get the word out that sometimes we accept every invitation to preach. This is for the leaders. Some people, you just have to decline. Some invitations, some, some meetings, you just have to decline. You know, we are in a time where God is, is wanting us to spend more time with him. We are in such in, in, in the best time of our lives. This is the best time of your life. And in this time, because God is doing so much for us, we have to, we have to really spend more time with him because we have to, we have to be able to hallelujah Jesus to, 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 to see, to see, to see. I can't stress that enough. We need spiritual vision. 
to see the direction, to see the path that God has placed before us. There are many paths. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that only few can take that narrow, that narrow path. But there are, there are many paths that lead to destruction. There are many paths that the enemy has set before us. But we need to consult with the power of the Holy Spirit and, 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 and consult with, with, um, with that power that's working in us, that power that's leading and guiding us to truth, that power leading and guiding us to understanding. We have to consult with that power to know which path is our path, to know which path is the path. And that is your word for today. Father, we thank you for this message. Lord God, we thank you for your presence, Lord God, in our lives. We thank you for touching every area of our lives. Father, we ask that you would touch our vision on today, touch our spiritual insight, Lord God, touch our spiritual understanding, oh, understanding God, touch our spiritual discernment, oh God, that we may May be able to recognize immediately with the help of the Holy Spirit what is for us and what is against us, who was sent to hinder us and who has been sent to help us. Father, we thank you today, oh God. For the strength to decline, Lord God, the strength to walk away, God, the strength to be separated, hallelujah, Jesus, from those whom you have not sent for us or from, the, from those who were just seasonal in our lives. Father, we thank you on today, Lord God, that we are no longer operating under spiritual blindness, but that the scale has been removed from our eyes and that we can see the road ahead, God. We thank you that we are seeing with clarity, oh God. We thank you that we are seeing, hallelujah, uh, 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 with with uh, seeing to the detail we be we're seeing very detailed right now everything everyone every place hallelujah jesus that is that is a, around us before us that is even coming to us oh god in the name of jesus let us be your word tells us that um we are to put on the whole arm of god that we may withstand against the wiles of the enemy so we thank you oh god for our for our spiritual armor on today we thank you that it is intact oh god we thank you that it is immovable god in the name of jesus and father we thank you for stirring up our prayer life we thank you for stirring up a, a watchful spirit spirit and a prayerful spirit in us oh god that we may hear god because you are you are giving us the revelation you are revealing to us that which is before us you are you will show us hallelujah holy spirit the the um the 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 snares that the enemy has set before us and we thank you today we thank you for your um your your help we thank you for your comfort we thank you for your your guidance and your leading hallelujah jesus we surrender now and submit and yield ourselves to your power oh god in the name of jesus father we love you i plead the blood of jesus over every listener today father i thank you that every household need is met i thank you that every business need is met i thank you that every ministry need is met if there's any expense oh god hallelujah jesus that would have their mind that would have their concentration father we loose it now in the name of jesus and we thank you oh god for binding that spirit of worry binding that spirit of anxiety in the name of jesus father you are our provider you are jehovah jireh and we thank you for supplying every need according to your riches and glory father we know that we are on the brink right now that that there may be just one thing we have to do, one place we have to go, one person we have to meet. So we thank you today for divine connections. We thank you today for divine opportunities. We thank you today for divine wisdom, for divine insight in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your covering, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We love you. We bless you. And we give you all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Guys, if there is anybody listening to this message who is not saved, I want you to make up your mind. Because when you are born again, you have been spiritually transformed. When you are born again, you have been renewed not just because the bible tells us that we 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 will only enter into the kingdom of heaven once we have been born by the spirit and by water hallelujah jesus we've been born by the flesh and by water but now it's time to be born by spirit even by fire 
in the, in the name of Jesus. So I want you to lift up your hands. And in lifting up your hands, you are surrendering hallelujah your mind you're surrendering your will you're surrendering your heart your thoughts your 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 intentions hallelujah jesus you're surrendering your life over to jesus and i want you to repeat after me i want you to say lord i love you enter into my heart i accept you as my lord and savior i acknowledge that you have died for my sins and that you sit at the right hand of our heavenly father praying and interceding for me. I, I uh, repent for my sins. I, I welcome you into my life. And I thank you for waiting for me. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. If you just prayed that prayer, you have been born again. If you have just prayed that prayer, salvation is now on you. And you have just you have just granted yourself a seat in heaven. Glory be to God. Now it's time to get into the word of God. I want you to start reading the book of John. I want you to find a version. If you got to do it on your Bible app, find a version that you're comfortable with reading. I would uh, recommend the NIV version, which is the new international version you can start with the king james but i started with niv and then it opened me up to other versions but you have to get into the word of god for you to really un uncover who you are in christ and who he is in you hallelujah jesus i love you all with the love of christ y'all have a blessed day ahead have a great time at bible study i invite you guys to go to believers international church Hallelujah, Jesus, which is located at 2001 East Division Street in Arlington, Texas, Suite 119. The zip code is 76001. If you need more information, you can tag me up on Facebook, um, and I'll be happy to share that with you. But guys, I love you, and I, I wish you all a blessed day ahead. Have a wonderful week ahead as well, and I'll see you on Sunday. Join us every Wednesday and Sunday for your Heavenly Fresh Moment. Y'all take care. Bye.